Hey guys, good morning. Sorry, a couple minutes late. Taking care of some morning stuff. Um, 7 a.m. Hope you have your Bible. Ready to dive in. We're going to be <clears throat> in the book of Psalms, as we have been for this whole thing, this whole fun deal. Um, and I, I want to, I want to focus on something out of Psalm 32 again. We did this uh, earlier in, in the in the quarantine. We did this different times in quarantine and even for awaken and preaching. But I want to do it again. Uh, Psalm 32, verse 2. It says, Blessed is the man against whom the Lord counts no iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. This verse has absolutely changed my life. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord counts no iniquity. We see it in the New Testament. We read it in the New Testament. But, I mean, this is where it comes from, where, guys, if you're a child of God, if you're a son or daughter of, Jesus, uh, of the Lord, the Lord counts no iniquity against you. Like, you're not guilty at all. You don't owe anybody. You don't have to go pay a, a sentence. You don't have to serve time, metaphorically speaking, spiritually. You can still break laws and do things on this earth that will make you go serve time. <laughs> But not with Jesus. <clears throat> then from that place, not having iniquity counted against us, it should bring us to a place of holiness where there's no deceit in our heart or in our spirit. Where not only am I forgiven of my sin, but from that place of forgiveness, I, I refuse sin. I say no to sin. I say yes to Jesus. And I'm thankful of this place of salvation and grace that's all kind of nation. Come on. We live in a tit for tat world. Look at the just turn on the news. Everything's tit for tat. We look for justice through the means of injustice, but then don't want to be held by the laws of justice once we're in justice. It's a crazy cycle. Look at the news. But blessed is the man against whom the Lord counts no iniquity. Man, God is not counting any sin against me. And then in my spirit, I want there to be no deceit filled in that place. I want to be so convicted in love, understanding what Christ has done for me, that I live in a place where Christ wants for me to live. Right, this is huge. We're coming out of, we're coming out of quarantine. We're coming to a new season. Um, we're re-entering everything we had before. Let's not lose sight. We're not here to re-enter society. We're here to love God. Let's be thankful at all times for all things in all manner. Let's be thankful that we are, we are men and women who are, are not counted as sinful against, our, our sins are counted against us, yet it is passed over. And as you see in Psalm 23, from east to west, God discards it and throws it away. But let's not take, let's not take for, for granted the, the things that God's given us, not in this country necessarily, but in the kingdom, the place where we're going to live forever, guys. This is big. Go ahead and read the rest of Psalm 32 today, guys, and just get rocked. It'll rock you. It'll mess you up. This is a good one. This is a good psalm. It will mess you up. Go ahead and read this. I hope you guys have a good day today. I hope you guys are, are staying in check with what's going on. HarvestTimeFamily.org slash coronavirus. Check in there. Figure out what's going on, what the ministries are doing, what the church is doing. Um, and then also... Awaken, we're having our, our, our first worship night corporately, June 16th, 7 to 8.30 p.m. at the Eau Claire campus. Please show up. Please come worship with us. It's going to be an awesome time. Um, and then don't forget, guys, tonight, check in at 9 p.m. Patrick Kim's going to tuck you guys in with the nightly devotional. And uh, I will see you guys soon. Sorry for the late entry. I had to take care of some stuff. Psalms 32. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord counts no iniquity and in whose spirit there is no deceit. Let this be said of us, okay? Let this be said of us. Quick devotional, but sometimes quick is good because it gives you all the time to go be with the Lord. Have a good morning.